take light that is reflection of a light we are going to learn the new concept that is reflection of a light now can you tell me what is the exactly reflection now see when you throw a ball any suppose a tennis ball what you on the ball what you will happen what you will see the ball will return back once it will thrown on the wall with that particular speed it will turn back am i right so that is nothing but it is called as a reflection that concept is nothing but a reflection now what is the reflection of the light light means when when light falls on a particular object we can see the different now see you can see me am i right yes or no why do you see me because of the reflection of the light means bouncing back the light that is called as a reflection the sending back of the light rays is called as a reflection of a light or in a simple way we can say that a bouncing back of a light that is called as a reflection of a light now there are some terms related to the reflection of the light that is these are some five terms which are related to the reflection of a light now see for example if you will see in your image on the plane mirror now you know the plane mirror have you seen the plane mirror yes every every day you watch the mirror am i right so what do you see you can see your image as it is am i right so why did why do you see that image see because of the reflection of the light am i right now if the it is totally a dark okay if it it is a totally a dark and you are standing in front of the mirror do you see any image no we are unable to see the image am i right so we can see the image only when there is a light means in short light the material can reflect the light so that is means we are able to see the particular object so that process is called as a reflection of the light and there are the some terms related to the reflection that is incident ray reflected ray normal angle of incidence and angle of reflection now through this all this we can form the law of reflection of a light we can get the law of reflection of the light now if you will see suppose this is a mirror suppose this is a mirror mirror means why have drawn like this see it means the one sided is like this it means this part is shining and another part see i have drawn like this lines it means it is a rough it is a rough part okay so this is a shiny part so that we can see the image are you getting suppose when a when see if you will see you can see the light am i right when the rays falls suppose sunlight when the light falls on a particular object so that object is visible to us am i right so when a light falls on the object so that light when the light strikes so that ray or the ray of a light when falls on a particular object that is called as a incident ray that is called as a incident ray this ray is called as a incident ray when the ray falls on a particular object that ray is called as an incident ray and now see when light falls on the mirror yes or no so that is called as a incident ray and that you can see your image on that mirror am i right you are able to see that image on the mirror am i right so that it means the light get reflected back the light get reflected back and this ray is called as a a reflected ray this ray is called as a reflected ray why what is meant by reflected ray means when you are able to see your image 
am i right because once the light is fall on the mirror that light get back again so that ray is called as a reflected ray that ray is called as a reflected ray are you getting this i hope you have understood this two concept incident ray and a reflected ray then the next concept is normal means normal now the next is normal normal means what a perpendicular line form between the incident ray this is a incident ray and this is a reflected ray this is a incident ray and this is a reflected ray okay the perpendicular perpendicular a uh, line form on the surface of the mirror on the surface of the mirror by looking to the incident ray and the reflected ray that is called as a normal that is called as a normal are you getting that the angle then the next is angle of incident now the angle this is a normal okay now the angle form between the incident ray and the normal is called as a angle of incidence is called as a angle of incidence and it is denoted by angle i it is denoted by angle i are you getting the angle form between the incident ray and the normal is called as a angle of incidence is called as a angle of incidence and the angle form between the reflected ray and the normal is called as a angle of reflection is called as a angle of reflection and it is denoted by angle r and it is denoted by an angle r are you getting so these are the terms related to the incident uh, terms related to the reflection of a light these are the five terms once again i will re recall this incident ray means what when the light strikes on the plane object or a smooth surface that is called as an incident ray reflected means what the angle uh, when the light get reflected to the particular object and we can see the object so that is called as a reflected ray normal means the line which is per the perpendicular line form between the incident ray and a normal or oh sorry uh, and a reflected ray that is called as a normal and the angle of the angle form between the incident ray and a normal is called as a angle of incidence and angle form between the reflected ray and a normal is called as a angle of reflection are you getting so this are the terms related to the reflection of the light now because of this we can get the law of reflection of the light we can derive the law of reflection of a light law of reflection of light now what is the law of reflection of the light that is that is incident ray normal and reflected ray always lies on the same plane once again so it is very important the law of reflection of the light you should understand it properly and please note down in the notebook see i will repeat there are the two points in this the first point is the incident ray normal and reflected ray always lies in the same plane they are on the same plane that is incident ray normal and reflected ray lies on same plane the next law of reflection is that see angle of incident that is angle i is always equal to the angle of reflection the angle of incident is always equal to the angle of reflection so this is the second law angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection so these are the two laws of reflection of a light these are the two laws of reflection 
of the light now related to this the law of reflection the reflection of the lights are mainly classified into two main types that is regular reflection and irregular reflection the reflection of the lights are classified into the two types that is regular and irregular i will give you the example so that you are you can easily understand what is the regular reflection of the light and irregular reflection of the light okay the first is regular now if you will see your image in a plane mirror if you will see your image in a plane mirror what do you will see you can see the proper image you can see the proper image means you can see the detail image of a object am i right yes or no but same image if you will see in the plate steel plate you will see some reflection you will not you will get little bit blur image am i right or in the spoon steel spoon if you will see you will get little bit blur image am i right so that is the irregular image and regular means what you will get a detail information of a particular object means you will get the the all the lights when will pass on the a plane surface and it get reflected back so that light is called as a regular reflection of the light for example now see if it is a plane surface whatever the lights will fall on this whatever the lights will fall on the plane mirror it will get reflected back all the light will get reflected back so that we are we can able to see the image so that type of the image is called as a regular reflection of the light that is called as a regular reflection of a light while irregular means what the the all the light will fall on the uh, on the object suppose this image uh, if suppose it is a irregular surface then the all the light will pass through here uh, all the light will strike to the particular object but all light will not get reflected back again we will not get all the reflected light back again we will not get particular image properly we are we will not get a proper uh, image so that image is called as a irregular reflection of the light that image is called as a irregular reflection of the light so today in today's video we have discussed about the reflection of a light in next video this reflection concept we will uh, we will relate to the plane mirror and we will learn the different types of mirror i hope you have understood it please uh, try to recall the video properly and remove the notes and thank you